for pro boxing fans to like join Hardy Junior. Mister, how you doing? I'm here, man. I'm good. I'm just uh, just watching the watching the boxing, watching the light like, heavyweights. That's one of my favorite divisions. As an amateur, I used to even box at light like, heavy as well. Um, I just came to just really support a good friend of mine, Dan Aziz. Just finished watching um, Andre Sterling also as well. Just uh, got a defeat, but um, yeah, uh, it was just just a, a great a great competition, man. That I'm just been watching as well, man. So, right, so the MTK Golden Contract, you mentioned Dan Aziz, he won the English title. Yeah. How pleased for him are you? Oh, man, I'm to totally pleased, man, because um, he's someone that uh, helped me when I when I first kind of um, came out. He used to come pick me up and bring me to the gym as well. So um, I can never forget that. So um, I really, really, really um, try my best to support him also as well, man. Absolutely. Now, talk about yourself. When can we expect to see you again? 2020, What's a, what sort of target dates are you looking at? Uh, target dates are looking at uh, maybe Jan slash Feb. So by that time, I'm just used to, I'm just, just, um, just getting ready, getting stronger, more strength and conditioning, more tactics, um, and just, yeah, just preparing nicely, man. I'm looking to have a big uh, 2020, and in the background, other than that, just supporting my, my fellow stable mates um, um, while they're fighting also. But um, yeah, 2020, I'm looking to, you know, have a very, very good active year. So from January slash Feb, um, should be back out there. So you see you on social media, always working hard with Mark Tibbs, Dillian White, yeah, yeah, mate, yeah. say you have a stable mates. How much of an influence has Mark and Dillian had in yourself? Oh man, massive, 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 uh, a massive push they both had me. Um, you know, someone like Dylan White is a is a he's a war horse, he's a workaholic, man, he pushes you to your fullest, doesn't let you slack in the gym. You know what I mean? Just just really takes it. Uh, more seriously than I've ever had in someone in the gym. If you know, he's very, very, very serious. Mark Tibbs as well. He just, just got the the best out of me. I would say uh, since this little period, we've been working closely. You know, before it's just like, as soon as I got with him, damn, I'm on the old two streets. We didn't have much time to gel. Even another side, other time, we was in Love Bar, he's focusing on Dylan, Charlie, Duffield. So we know right now we've had time for a bit of gelling, but now he's uh, working on Richard Riappo. So um, we have, but sometimes it is difficult because you've got different fighters. But other than that, um, we've had a bit more time to gel, and I can't wait to just kind of just go out there and show my improvements. Man. Mention that Richard Riappo is fighting next Thursday, the nineteenth of December. How's you looking? Ah, uh, you know, you know Richard Riappo, man. He's just blessed with just that God-given get out of prison power <laughs> you know what i mean if he lands that right hand you know what i mean it's just i've, I've seen it in training I've, I've seen it you've seen it in 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 actual fights um when he lands that right hand which he always does within every fight you're just you, you it's hard for you to recover so um you know i was looking at richard the new british champion and and yeah man i can't wait to see that happen so hopefully another title in the stable there. Just going back, rewind a few weeks. Saudi Arabia, Dillian White. Just, just talk me through the experience first of all. Man, the experience was something else, man. Uh, just to, okay, the main thing is just to see, I, I always watch closely how Dylan deals with the occasion, how we, um, and not, you know, like how, how he takes it. You know, he'll be joking and be talking. Still dedicated with training, so I always watch closely how he deals with that, how he deals with any news that comes, and um, also just the whole situation of um, the scandal that was happening, and how he still stuck at his guns, still tried to commit to training, and still get the result at the end. So it was just a wonderful feeling, um, you know, uh, experiencing, uh, you know, some from the fighters, different fighters abroad. Even to hear, you know, other people even just to uh, like to just know my story and they're from, you know, from the States and that. It was it was just a magnificent experience, man, I could, that uh, money couldn't buy. Absolutely. You mentioned uh, about the you know, scandals and the, the stuff outside of the ring for Didion. Um, did that affect him in the build-up? He came and he said he was about a stone and a half heavier than he'd like to have been yeah. usually. Did that play a part in the build-up? Uh, I think it's, it's played a part in everything, but, you know, is his main focus that it's his job. Uh, you know, like you know, you know, to get that call up, you know, three weeks, and to um, you can understand that, you know, you get a three week call up and your you, you, your your weight's not as as it should be, but you still got it done. And I, I understood that, especially with mine. You know, what I mean, um, 
for us, us lot that are lower weights, we have to actually make weight. <laughs> so it's it's a lot difficult and having to um, go hard all, all even onto the rest week. So, um, I've, you know, it, it had an effect, but it didn't allow it to take its effect and it still got the, the job done. So uh, fair play and, that's, and that's, the, that's the little things I say I look up to him in terms of that professionalism of just, you know what, get the job done. He, you know, he could have said, no, I ain't got enough time, but he's like, no, I'm getting the job done, so. And how much of a positivity would it be for Dillian to be reinstated as the interim WBC? Um, when I looked on, well, I saw something online saying he is uh, reinstated as it. So, um, other than that, I think this, you know, sky's the limit. As long as there's no more blockages, uh, we've been trying to, uh, you know, he's been trying to be the next step for Wilder. Um, hopefully, after the you know the winner of uh, Fury and, and Wilder, he'll be you know he'll be up next um, fighting for the title. And finally, who do you think wins out of Fury and Wilder? As you mentioned it. Ooh. Um, you know what? It's you know Fury's um, a UK fighter, so we we'll have to have to go kind of vouch for him, really. Um, and I think that if Fury does win, uh, it'll be more likely of a chance of. Dylan White like getting a crack at the WBC, in, in my opinion. Um, but I can't wait to see the fight. But you know we're gonna keep it um, team Team Fury for 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 UK based anyway. John Harden Jr. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking to Pro Boxing fans.